Brisbane is going to a snap three day lockdown. But I had my washing on the line. Ruined them. Cucumbers. Irritated by everything. A sandwich press. Bananas. My skin. <laughs> Woo! They are really, really good. Vegetable nachos. You look like a burger. Pesto spaghetti. Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is currently 6 p.m. I weirdly enough kind of just got ready. Today was productive but not a great start but I'm kind of refusing to let myself feel like it was just a shitty day. Basically I spent all day assembling this desk which I was gonna film and like make it like a whole thing but it was actually a bitch to assemble and it took a really long time. I was marinating in tan all day and I was just like oh well. But I had a shower, I decided to pop on some makeup, moisturize, put on some jewelry, about to go to the supermarket and get some things. But I just felt like getting a little bit ready. I don't know why. Even though I'm literally gonna wash it off. I love this desk. It's from Temple and Webster. It is gorgeous it's made me more excited to work in here i feel like your environment for me at least in terms of workspaces and just my home in general is so important i haven't been working in my office lately i've been like on my laptop in the kitchen sometimes i think it's all right but i need to try and keep work in this space or like at least editing so my my brain can treat my house as my home and my resting space and this is like the workspace I didn't weekly vlog last week. I had really bad PMS. Like I was very moody. Just internally, I just felt very like irritated by everything. So I just kind of was like, we're gonna have another break. And I did spend a lot of time filming my previous video, which took a lot longer than I thought. But I really like how it turned out. It was like the day in life of a YouTuber, kind of showing you more behind the scenes stuff. So yeah, I just decided instead of stressing myself out, just chill, rejuvenate, start again. But yeah, at the moment, Brisbane is, we're not in lockdown but we are having restrictions put in place so you have to wear a mask out from like I think 1am tonight or tomorrow so gonna be monitoring that very closely I do have a hair appointment tomorrow so I'll obviously have to wear a mask to that but yeah hopefully everything stays under control everyone's staying safe I know Sydney is in lockdown right now but yeah I'll show you the desk she's so beautiful it's massive let me just move my stuff out of the way that's what it looks like so it's way bigger than this one as you can see, just a lot more work. I don't know how to explain it. She's just way better. We've got some drawer space, which I probably should organize and not just chuck everything in there. Yeah, I feel much more excited about this. I also ordered this from Amazon, which I have needed one of these for the past, ever since I started YouTube. These are batteries for my camera. So I now have four batteries and I can charge them all at once like this. If I'm going out for a long time, I can bring more than one with me and I can charge my battery instead of always running out because I love this camera. The only downside is I feel like it does run out of battery quite quickly. That was a well needed, well overdue purchase, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm gonna write what I need from the supermarket. I need spinach, egg whites, spray and wipe. So I've run out of my coat, well, I'm almost out of that. Avocado, snacks, I have like no snacks at the moment. Berries, because I'm always eating berries, bananas. Bananas. Let me check the calendar. I'm trying to visualize my fridge. Lettuce, fish. Because I think I'm gonna make fish for dinner tonight. Body wash. Carrots. Hummus. I'm gonna write question mark because I can't control myself with it. And it makes me really bloated too. Almond milk. I always need almond milk. I'm sure I'll find more things on the way. I've also got a slideshow of the same thing. Wait for it. <laughs> it's just one photo. Supermarket time. All right, grocery haul. Just got back from getting some food. All right, firstly, a lot of it was on sale though. Like all of my specific food items. I was like, hell yeah. Um, I got some of these Mount Franklin sparkling waters. I think I've had these before. I don't think they're particularly like incredible, but mango sounds good. And it was like $3 for this. Got some cotton buds, bin liners, 
some spray oil, some razors, they were on sale, some almond milk, some of this goat's milk body wash, and some Italian dressing, some like spray and wipe because I'm almost out of the coat, and some food for Chiara. We've got some pizza bases, some lightly sweet, lightly salted. Oh, it's lightly salted, slightly sweet. Um, these are for my boyfriend. These are his snacks. Got one of these because we were in need of this. Got some tissues and in the frozen bag. Spinach, cucumbers. Bananas, they, when we first went in, the bananas were all gone because the restrictions are kicking in tomorrow. People freak out and they buy everything. These ones are a little bit green, but that's all right. I'll just let them ripen a little bit. Got some carrots. Got some avocados. Some roasted pumpkin hummus. Some salmon, because I think tonight we're going to have salmon for dinner. Blueberries and egg whites. Away now, probably start getting ready for. guys happy Tuesday currently almost 8 a.m. just finished at the gym it was a really hard session I'm pretty sure no one finished it we had to do like eight burpees over the bar don't mind my hair and then 30 cows on like the bikes or something then we had to do 20 butterfly sit-ups and then 10 what are they called I still don't know the terminal power clean but every two minutes we had to go back to our barbell wherever that was and do eight burpees over the bar so it was pretty hard, but I've showered and now I'm on my way to my hair appointment. I have a feeling we're going to go into lockdown. Um, my hair's nice and sweaty, so Eva's going to have fun with that. Might get a haircut today. I don't think I've had one recently, and we're just going to go blonder. Not necessarily lighter, as in like I'm not trying to go like a whiter blonde, but I just want more of the same color. Yeah. Whoop. Let's just listen to some tunes on the way. As I do. It is raining a little bit though. This looks blue skies ahead. But I had my washing on the line. Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve Can I hide the way I feel When you're next to me, girl Got the kick in every move And I fall just like a fool For you, for you Wish I knew just what it was But why should I make a fuss Just stay next to me, girl Next to me, girl Something special don't arise Something special that I like about you About you There's a mystery actually just announced that Brisbane is going into a snap three-day lockdown literally as I was almost finished with my appointment so got my hair done <laughs> just before lockdown <clears throat> just got home I was pretty hungry I did order I didn't film it um but I had like a protein bar one of these ones actually I had one of these like right after the gym the birthday cake protein bar to just satiate me and then by like 10 30 I was getting pretty hungry I also had a coffee Remy no. From the cafe next to the sun. And then I got this like avocado hummus toast. It was really good. It's now not wearing a watch. 1.35. I swear I come home and I'm like, give me all the food. 
I just had some carrot and hummus, having a packet of popcorn, and I'm about to make my <laughs> lunch. I need to not do this where I just come home and like snack and then make lunch, but I think I'm gonna feel what I eat in a day tomorrow because obviously, I don't know why, but whenever lockdown hits, I instantly wanna do like a what I eat in a day. Not sure why, but. This is what my hair looks like. I think we did a full head of foils just because I wanted to be like really blonde, like even underneath. I'm quite blonde. <clears throat> and we just trimmed it a little bit. Off the couch, buddy. No. I love it. This is my favorite color. This is my color. Normally I'd be only finishing up at the salon now. So considering we did a full head of foils, pretty quick. <laughs> Excuse me. Guys. We love you. How beautiful is she? I organized it and just did a big clean. I got some more before you speak coffee in the other day as well. I do really like these my proteins as well. They are so yum. Trying to decide what I want for lunch. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I also, when I was at the hair salon, spent like $300 on Sisters and Seekers. I bought two pairs of trackies and two jumpers. I do love Sisters and Seekers though. My, the most common question I get every time I wear it, it's that beige like logo jacket. I got it from Sisters and Seekers maybe like three years ago now. And I wear it all the time. It goes with everything. It's so cozy. And it's from Sisters and Seekers. I don't think they sell it anymore. And they've definitely raised their prices since I ordered from them, but they have just like the coolest stuff like it's just very cool I'm very excited <laughs> see when that arrives the lunchy time i don't know what i want Oop, battery's running out but i've got one already charged how good i was wondering when that was going to run out so now i can why is this exciting now i can change my battery hang on brb and we have a full charge battery i needed to buy this five years ago oh my god this is great. I also need to buy more memory cards because my memory cards also get full. But see, now all I have to do, oh, so great, is pop her back on charge. Hello? And she's charging again. It tells you like which batteries. I got this from Amazon. I'll link it down below. See, this one's charging. And this one's like fully charged. How good? How good, how good, how good? Why am I so hyper? I'm not sure. Whenever I'm home alone, I feel like I can be really loud and just sing to the heavens. Hey guys, are you gonna be quiet? All right, food time. A battery changeover. Does YouTube full time and only just did that. sounds weird i haven't really spoken much today it is about 9 10 a.m right now we are in day one of lockdown so wasn't able to go to the gym i really want to go for a walk but it's raining right now i just started off my day with a bone broth but i'm about to make my breakfast it's kind of like really not sure what i wanted to make and i want to switch things up for you guys i look crazy i don't want to make pancakes because i've made that like a thousand times Part of me wants to try like baked oats again, but I have such like food regret. <laughs> if I make something and I don't really like it, I'm like, damn, I've wasted a meal because I love food. But I also, I just don't know what to make. I'm like, could make a smoothie, but it's a bit cold. What do we make a smoothie? Let's make a smoothie. Let's, let's switch things up and like avocado toast. Let's have a look. I'm gonna try and track today because I wanna get back into it, but it's, it's kind of hard to get back into tracking when you haven't done it for so long. Do I, I'm thinking, do I do like a chocolate root or a fruity root? I think I'm gonna do a chocolate root, chocolate coffee root, yep. I have these two proteins from My Vegan. I've got a chocolate flavored one and a coffee and walnut flavored one. So I'm like, which one do I want? I'm just, I'm looking and I can see it's sunny, but it's raining right now. So this is the chocolate one. Interesting. That's coffee and walnut. I was going to say, that's not chocolate. Ooh. When I thought it was chocolate, I was like, ooh, that smells weird. Knowing it's not chocolate, that makes more sense now. That. Ooh, the 
sun is coming out. That makes me happy. Or chocolate. I think I'm gonna do chocolate and then if I want to add coffee, I will. That's what we'll do. Righty-o. Ice. I haven't made a smoothie in so long because it's like cold. So we'll do 100 mils of this. I would use frozen banana, but we don't have any frozen banana. I have a feeling this is gonna be like 100 on the dot. Frozen cauliflower. This interesting concoction. It's good. I was just got my toast. Avocado. So we have smoothie and avocado toast. I'm gonna eat it outside and depending on the weather, I might go for a walk. Because it's sunny right now, but that could change very quickly. to go for a walk I feel like this is probably a good way to kick start getting back into walking I used to walk all the time but I haven't walked really since moving to my new house got my mask with me I'm wearing the most random outfit it's like these lululemon shorts I've had these for so long they're just like super comfy kind of stacks jumper I'm not sure how long I'm gonna go for we will see hoping it won't rain because it was raining before crazy yeah it needs to fall it is now 1 38 p.m i'm just having a very slow day i'm gonna do some editing after this but i went for a seven kilometer walk had a shower pampered moisturized popped some makeup on curled my friend a little bit too much but i'm about to make this like noodle thing that i had yesterday it's not particularly like new or anything just spray your pan but i've got some peas you can't see I've got some frozen peas in here, mushroom, potato, onion, and zucchini. I'm just gonna pop that in a pan. I'm also gonna get some frozen broccoli as well. I just drained some noodles. These are the chain, like super low cow ones. Got them there. I'm gonna add them to the pan now. Doesn't really matter. Dishwasher, not the dishwasher, the washing machine in the background, but this is gonna be my lunch. So yummy. I've got some like salt reduced soy sauce. It's not great for you, but like we all have our vices. It's stunning. I'm gonna have this and I think I'm gonna have a GYG for dinner, which I've literally I've had GYG once in my life. I feel like I want it tonight. Because I want to do a like live on my Instagram um of like a mukbang. So I'm like, I need to get some form of takeaway. I'm not gonna eat a salad. decaf coffee it's 2 p.m now i just finished eating my lunch i like spilled stuff on my shirt and then i realized that i completely spilled soy sauce like all over my sleeve um so i just like wet it i'm gonna change my jumper but i'm just like why am i incapable of not spilling stuff on me my fringe is also falling much more 
nicely now. But I'm gonna make a decaf coffee. I need to order a new Starbucks cup because the Starbucks aspect of it is now gone. So we're gonna get some ice and boil the kettle. <clears throat> this is the decaf coffee that I use. I get it from Flannery's. It's the super special organic decaf. It tastes really good. Some cold water and then I just pour it all in. But yeah, I think today I've had one caffeinated coffee. Yeah, one caffeinated coffee, so that's good for me. If I need, I'm feeling fine too. Um, if I need one, I might have two. Right, I'm gonna go do some editing and I will probably check back in with you when I get my dinner. I might have another snack between now and then, um, but I'll probably eat dinner fairly early and stuff. So, yeah. Good morning guys, happy Thursday, day two of lockdown. I'm just putting on my Apple Watch. This week is going really quickly. Like it feels like Wednesday today. Just woke up so I look a bit like, um, about to pop out to the Zarafas and get a coffee. Oh, it rained last night. Damn. Um, because I'm craving Zarafas coffee, so let's go. Flat white on almond milk, please. Do I make flat white? Smashed ever as well, please. Nah, it's all good, thanks. You said can. <laughs> I said, can I get an almond? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. I was like, She's like, wait, what? What? Thank you. Thank you. Catch up. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself again. Give me something for the pain. Always trying to pretend. But I'm not living just a lie. Broken heart and shattered lives. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself. Update on the brownies, I kind of ruined them. I'm just gonna like leave it in the container and just eat it. I feel a bit sick. It's, wow, it's 1.22. I'm not gonna eat any lunch just because I pretty much ate lunch in cookies and brownies. It's, today is honestly gonna be like a very chill, probably very unproductive day. It's super gloomy. I would love to go for a walk, but it keeps raining every like on and off all the time. So just chilling out, honestly. I'm tempted to go buy some, I would say AirPods, but they're not AirPods, they're Beats. My friend has these ones. They're like um, completely wireless and I've put them on before and they are incredible. They're $350 though. My AirPods that I've got, I've had for a while now and they're one of them is like not really working very well and I could totally use these for editing and stuff like that. I don't know. But yeah, I'm kind of unsure of what to do with myself at the moment. I could do some editing, but I'm just really not in the mood to. I don't know, I think it's just like lockdown and the weather. If it was super sunny, I'd be going for a walk, but it's all right. Like I need a chill day anyway, but I just want to do something. So the Pro AirPods are three hundred dollars. That's a lot of money for AirPods. The Beats one I feel like are better. Do I really need them? No. Honestly, I've discovered cooking is my love language. <laughs> I think my giving and receiving though is a bit different. Like my receiving love is definitely words of affirmation and physical touch and quality time. I think those are my big three. And then for me, my love language is acts of service for sure. That is up there. And 
I think physical touch probably. Totally wireless, adjustable. I like them because yeah, they have like the hook. I go through phases of wearing earphones all the time. I definitely haven't been wearing them much lately. When I go to the supermarket, always. They're always in my ears. They're unavailable at stores near me. So do I get it online and get it delivered? I'll check back with you when I'm doing something more exciting than just sitting on my bed. I really wanna watch Harry Potter, but I feel like they took it off Netflix, so. guys it is now the afternoon i've just been doing a little bit of editing and whatnot it's raining again so it's just feeling like oh there's just not much to do i feel like lockdown has almost forced me to have a bit of a break in terms of like filming and stuff but i just got in a package super random i did not know this was coming oh, yeah that'll do i just got in a package from pixie i don't think i've ever tried any of their products before honestly i have no idea what this is it's quite a large package my days so it like opens up like that it's called pixie pretties open that up. Oh. you open it up and it's got a few like influences on each of the sides so we have this one. Oh, that's a lip palette oh oh i get it now so yeah there's lips highlighter eyeshadow and like a contour palette oh that makes more sense now cool. thank you so much pixie Bonnie! Hey, Bonnie! Run, run! Run, 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 run. We need like a stick. Oh my god, look at him go! Woo! He's like, why are you not running? Yeah, Bonnie's like, mate, I'm not <laughs> equipped for this. You should run. Then he'll run after you. Ram! Give me the stick! Come on! Come on! Come on, Ram! Woo! Thank you. Ready? Bonnie's just like, no. Nah. Not for me. Hey! Very, very rainy today. I'm pretty sure it's going to rain all day today. I think I'm going out to a cafe. Um, so I'm just going to quickly get ready. So I just had like a big cluster of breakouts along my jaw here. And they're so weird. Looks like a walk is probably off the cards today. I'm thinking maybe the movies could be cute. Because <laughs> like what else are you going to do when it's just pouring with rain? Um, but yeah, so today is the first day that our restrictions are lifted. Like lockdown is lifted, should I say. I've been using this Dermalogica Age Bright Clearing Serum, which is nice because it treats acne, but it doesn't dry out my skin. A lot of acne targeted products are very, very drying, which sometimes you need. Oh. I'm back into wearing my Apple Watch like on a daily basis. I think I want to be more conscious of hitting my steps and like moving. This is my skin. One of my, let me sort that back right now. One of my tasks for today should be to sort out my filming room. I look stunning. I'm gonna use the MAC Face and Body, uh, Face and Body Foundation in the color C3. And I literally just pour it out my hands. And this is like, it's so quick. It is really light coverage, but like for every day, it's perfect. I haven't been tanning my face at the moment just because it makes my acne look even worse. <laughs> but I just literally rub this all in and it like blends in so easily. And to me, that's like really nice coverage. Obviously you can still see all my pimples, but what I do next is I need to get a better concealer for this next step because it's not that great, but it's like the only one I've got that's kind of like in my color. It's this bourgeois, always fabulous one. And I just pop it on my pimples not most hygienic thing i know i want to get that nars pot concealer because i think that's really good for doing this my camera's gonna die i'm gonna go get my second battery so I do this and then 
take the same concealer in a different color. Just a lighter one and I pop it under my eyes and I just let that sit for a bit. I'm gonna blend out the concealer part. My battery just died, but... Mm -mm -mm. I used to be so scared about letting makeup sit on my skin because I always thought I wouldn't be able to blend it out. Unless it's like a super matte product, you should be fine. And it honestly helps with like coverage and stuff. And then I'm gonna blend out the concealer. It's just like patting it out so it maintains its coverage. This is a Morphe M439 brush. I should do another everyday makeup routine or something. I mean, this is my everyday makeup routine, so maybe not. <laughs> and then when I do eyeshadow, I just take bronzer, which I'm very much out of this at the moment. I just put in my crease. He told me I would be putting shimmery bronzer in my crease to like 2016 me. I would have been like, oh, what? Now I literally don't care at all. Like, I actually kind of like it. Some dimension. And then I go under my eyes as well. Okay, then I'm gonna take just a pressed powder, this is like broken, and just pat it like in the center of my face. Then <clears throat> I take this like Maybelline Fit Me one, just a little bit, just for some more coverage, just tap it lightly. If I didn't have the breakouts that I do at the moment, I probably wouldn't do this step just because I feel like I don't need to, but it's more so to make it last longer. Bronzer. Which I'm out of basically. I always put it on the tip of my nose as well. Blush. I've been back on the Milani Luminoso train. It just, it works as a highlighter and blush in one. This is so old. I got this in 2016. This thing is five years old. But I mean, then I put it on my nose and it just like, see that glow? That's why I don't really wear highlighter anymore. I feel like. I always just wear glowy blushes and it does the job for me. I literally blend it into my temple. I got my eyes a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna spray my face with this setting spray. This is the Benefit Le Pore Fashion. It is quite nice. And then for eyebrows, I just take whatever brow gel I'm using. This is, I have like a darker one. This is by Il Maquillage. It's in the color Caramel. And I just put that. I'm getting a lash lift next week, I think. Obviously, if um, the restrictions permit and everything. Which I've still got a little bit of a lift left. But the lift makes such a difference, like honestly. And then mascara, I use this one from Emco. My boyfriend's here to pick me up, so I'm like, oh no. Makeup complete. I'm sweating. My fringe. If I can do this really fast. I take my Dyson Airwrap, separate the bits that I want in it, and I get this. Then I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna spray it with hairspray. And now I'm gonna go get dressed and find an outfit. <laughs> You look like a burglar. I just got in my Hello Fresh, so I thought I would do a little unboxing of what is in here. So this week, ooh, we have beef and spinach cottage pie. You probably like that. Pork and sun dried tomato poo pesto spaghetti. Is that actually poo? And cheesy parmesan chicken strips. I believe my code is kind of 40 and that'll get you money off your first box and then boxes after that as well. This lighting is terrible. Bonnie just did a poo inside, so I'm gonna clean that up. I just made pizza. Remy can. Remy. All right, so 
purchases from Kmart we have a sandwich press. These are well overdue purchases. Did we need them right this second? Probably not, but for that. I also got an air fryer. I forget how good it is to have one of these. I haven't had one obviously since living out of home. decided to purchase the uh, Air, not AirPods, Beats because they are really, really good. I have no more explanation and I can use them for editing. It is a business expense, I'm telling myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm literally wearing all blue. Got this blue jumper on, blue stack shorts and this blue hair clip. So. Hi, um, can I please get a mini spicy vegetable nachos? Yes, thank you. Any sour cream? No, thank you. No, thank you. Is that all? That's everything. Thank you. All right, just got back from JB Hi-Fi. Got the beats, but I'm so excited. I got the black ones. That's their, they were the only color they had. I think they had like a dark green. Um, I wanted white, but I think they could get dirty like really easily. Even though AirPods are white, just from makeup on my ears, because they are that like rubberized touch. Do you know what I mean? How do I open these? Unboxing. Technology, ooh. Technology unboxing is always so nice, like, and satisfying. Two very different unboxings in the space of two minutes, probably. Ooh, ah. Break some before I even... This is the case. Very nice. Oh! How good? Okay, they're a lot bulkier than my AirPods. I mean, granted, I've got like a little silicone case on my AirPods. So that's a suitcase. I got it from YesStyle. Ooh, does this charge? Oh, wait. <gasps> How cute. I'm so excited. Okay, let me... This just makes me want to listen to music. But yeah, I got the like all matte ones. I just don't know if I have to charge them first. I hope not because I'm impatient. Hello? Let's get down to business. Ooh. She's in. I think I need to like stretch. Oh, they stretch out. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm like, that's really tight. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. But the noise cancelling aspect of these are off the charts. How do they? Yeah, I think they're going to have to charge for a second. Kiara, stop scratching. Ooh. Outdoor setting. Kiara, stop it. Oh, it comes with extra little, like, um, pods, silicone bits for your ears. Five minute charge <gasps> equals one and a half hours of play. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so that's charging. And I think I'm going to start cleaning my beauty room. 